Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. It's a real pleasure to have you here with us in London. Maybe you could begin with a brief introduction to this wonderful film, My Father's Dragon. What can audiences expect when they watch it? So My Father's Dragon is the story of Elmer. He's uh, not quite a teenager when he realizes that the grown-ups in his life don't have all the answers. And so then life can be a little bit tough sometimes. So he runs away to a fantastical land called Wild Island, which is full of ferocious beasts and wild animals. And he goes there to search for a dragon that needs to be rescued. And he thinks this dragon is going to solve all these problems and answer all these questions. But the dragon turns out to be a kid just like him. And so they have to go on an adventure to try and get off the island, try and you know solve their problems, and uh, yeah, try and avoid all of these wild animals as they go. And when did you first come across the 1948 book by Ruth? And what made you think this was going to work so well as an animated film? Yeah, you know, I first came across the book by Ruth Stiles Gannett uh, in about 2012. So I was approached by Julie Lynn, who's a fantastic producer. She'd seen The Secret of Kells, which is one of the, our, our, our previous uh, feature films in Cartoon Saloon. And she just loved the look of it and the, the immersion of it and the style of it. And so she thought, OK, maybe if we get the people who made that to, you know, help us make My Father's Dragon, then, um, then you know, then that could be really good. And so I, I read the book before I met Julie and I just was, I just connected with it. I connected with particular pages in the book. Um, I, I love the character of Almer. And so I went to Julie and I started to pitch myself to her. She started to pitch herself to me as, as a producer and then halfway through the conversation we kind of realized what was happening and so we just relaxed and that was the kind of beginning of the whole process. And then Netflix came on board with the project and they, you know, really wanted me as a director to just do my best work and the opportunity to, you know, to tell a story that has depth to it, that has adventure, that has a lot of heart. Uh, was something I couldn't really uh, say no to, so that's that's what I did, and that's uh, that's why we're here. Yeah. And I guess having a book to go from must provide a lot of base material and the illustrations. But where do you even begin and translating that into the you know the stunning you know visuals that we see in the film and kind of I guess expanding that world into something you know a feature film. Now? Yeah. Well, I, I started with Ruth Styles Gannett, so that that book uh, the. the particular page that really struck me was there was a, a, a page where Elmer gives a saucer of milk to a stray alley cat and his mom gets really angry with him and it, it really struck me I thought that was just such a, a wonderful piece of storytelling because what was going on in that mom's life that a saucer of milk was a big deal what was going on with Elmer when he looks up into his mom's face and realizes she's not telling him the whole truth and that there's more stuff going on in their lives than uh, then then he can you know maybe control you know um, and so I thought that was a great starting point. I went to Ruth. Uh, Ruth is 99 now. She's living uh, in upstate New York in a small village called Trumansburg. Uh, so I went to visit Ruth a, a, a couple of years ago before we started the project and just, just to get a sense of who she is, what are her values, what she wanted to express with Elmer because I'm very aware that the book is much loved. It, mm. um, you know, you have generations of people reading it to their children as children have grown up and now they're reading it to their children. And so I asked her, what is it about Elmer? Because I didn't want to just do a literal kind of, OK, on this page, this thing happens. And therefore, on this you know minute in the film, this thing needs to happen. I wanted to get the essence of what Elmer is about. And for Ruth, it was really important that he's a child who thinks for himself. Mm -hmm. He figures things out himself. He's, he's at an age where you know the adults don't have all the answers. And there are ways that he's going to need to go and find some meaning in his life. And he's going to need to find ways to cope with life and that. And he does that through this a massive adventure, you know. Um, and so for Ruth, it was very important that all the way through he thinks for himself. And so that's something that I very much locked on to. And that became the heart of the film. Can you just quickly say a word or two about, about Jacob and Gatton and working with them? Oh, Jacob and Gatton are just incredible, uh, in, in, incredible uh, uh, people. So when we got them together in the room, um, they just they, they have a, a, an actual friendship, a natural energy between the two of them. So as a director, I just had to sit back and let them go because as the, the heart of the film, as the dragon and the boy, they just, they just, they are the heart of the film. And so our animators just loved working with their voice performances. I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing all that with us. I can't wait for everyone else to see my father's dragon. Thanks, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.